Whew. Welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review on a very warm 26th of June 2018. Tonight, for my final review today, because I've done this is the fourth today, uh, Lidl on their super weekend deal was selling these for 79 pence each. It's Sotma mixed fruit. Other leaders on the market, such as this Copperberg Recorder Lig, they're you two brand leaders. And uh, both Haldi and Lidl seem to have their own versions. Um, Scandinavian style cider. So, best served over ice for a taste of summer any time of the year. This has just come out of a freezing cold fridge. Which, being as the temperature in here is 92 degrees, you know, ready for something cool. So, it's the mixed fruit cider market is massive now. Copperberg and Recordly came in, and uh, you know, came away from the normal, although Copperberg's Pear Cider, for me, is one of the nicest ciders that you'll ever taste. Must do some a lot of cider reviews, there's some brilliant ciders out there. A few years ago, Strongbow bought out Dark Fruits, and that has absolutely been a trailblazer. You know, whether it's the UK's number one now, not sure. So, with Sotman Mixed Fruit, I've got no space because I've got three beers brewing at the back of me. Well, two brewing, one sitting there like a lapsy days ago. So, on HomeTap.com, which must be a beer review site, someone's put last resort when no other mixed fruit cider. Um, And I've got to say, that's a crap sight. So, we'll just do it off the bat and I'll give you my uh, thoughts on it. First things first, let's crack it open. Glass isn't totally clean. A little bit of EPA from earlier. So, pour it in. Straight away, the pinky colour. Mix, you know, the mixed fruits. Lots of bubbles, as you're going to expect. Now, my wife tried this. She wasn't impressed. She loves copper bird mixed berries, mixed fruit. She wasn't impressed, and uh, luckily, I've got the other bottle that we bought. So, oh, you can smell the berries, the aroma of berries on the top. Surprisingly, not much, not a bigger head, not much carbonation actually. You can't, if you can see that, not much at all. Oh, near the top there's a bit more. So, mm. does it carbonate less when it's um, colder? Not sure. A little bit sweeter than your Copperbergs of this world. Um, no real aftertaste. Refreshing, as, as you would expect really. Um, a tad on the sweet side I find. I can understand what my wife was saying, uh, saying it was a bit sweet. But it is a tad on the sweet side. If I'm going to put my favourite out recorded in Copperberg while we're on, while we're on the uh, side, sweet fruit cider thing, Copperberg's pear cider is without doubt the best pear cider I've ever tasted. Recorded though, they've got some absolutely classic varieties in their range of ciders. Um, apricot and mango or whatever it was, fantastic. It's 
still carbonating slowly you know not much of a head on it as it's going down a little bit sweet certainly refreshing although I don't think anything's going to keep me refreshed with it being 92 degrees in here my temperature is through the roof at the moment Whew. Yeah, no real aftertaste at all. Um, not like I had an apple cider the other day and that had a nice aftertaste. This, uh, no real aftertaste. It is very hard when it's this warm doing a review. Now, the normal price for this. It's about £1.50 if I'm right. So, priced about 50 pence cheaper than the likes of the Cord Lid Cockerberg at their normal prices. Unless you buy them on a 3 for 5, 4 for 6 deal. So, out of 5. Hmm. It's, you know, I think it's a, a good standard mixed berry cider it's not as good as copper burger record like i've already said but you know if you wanted something refreshing and you couldn't get all of the other two then perfectly good enough oh. so out of five did i already say it been a long day. Um, I'm going to give it a four. If I hadn't already said that, I do apologise. It's been a long day. But yeah, I think a four out of five. No more than a four. It's not horrible, but it's not, you know, at the top end of the scale either. Um, when I get around to doing some Copperbergs, and then, you know, especially some of the, the weirder varieties, you know, I'll uh, give you my thoughts on them at that date. Nice, little bit sweet, but refreshing. And on a day like this, we need refreshing. And now, it's time to say goodbye because I want to see Argentina get beat. Yeah. Thanks for watching.